Hello, and welcome back, my beautiful froggy army, to another video. I'm sad right now because I was just recording the first 20 minutes of this video the whole time thinking that I was hitting record, but I didn't hit record and I wasn't recording it. So I made so many jokes and they were so funny, but now they are lost to time and we will never get them back. So if you could go ahead and hit like for me because that would make me feel better for losing all of that footage. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. But anyway, today on the island, I wanted to do kind of like a chill little let's play with you guys. I feel like I haven't done one in a hot minute and I don't know how a minute can be hot. Someone please explain that to me. Do you microwave it? Do you put it in the stove? Do you, do you air fry it? Oh, you probably air fry it. So we're going to do a chill little let's play today. And today I am facing my most biggest enemy, the beaches. That's why we're here on the beach. And yeah, I did start decorating it because again, I recorded 20 minutes of this but I thought I was recording, but I was not. So today we're gonna be decorating the beaches. I'm always so sick and tired of not knowing what to do for my beaches. So today we're, you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna do all of them. And then I can't be sick and tired of anything anymore. Problems solved. I will give you a tour for my beaches for the second time, but the first time for you guys, but it's the second time for me. I kind of realized when I was filming the first time that the majority of my beaches are decorated. I don't know why I was thinking that like none of my beaches were done whatsoever, but I actually have like pretty much a, like half of my island done in terms of beaches, but a lot of it is kind of messed up. So I am going to redo quite a bit of it. So starting from the top right, we have this little like cat park that I made. It's messed up with the custom designs again. And I think it is time for a refresh. This was a fun challenge to do, but someone did suggest to make it like a little cafe or like vending machine spot, I believe. So I think we're gonna do something along those lines for that rock and then we'll figure something out for this awkward area. I hate when there's like a lot of rocks cause then there's like no beach space. Coming down here, we're pretty much done. This is like good to go. I'm gonna leave this as it is. This is part of this little like garden area. So that's good to go. And then coming down past this very awkwardly placed rock, we have this little chunk, which yeah, nothing going on. And then coming down further, we have this area, which is pretty decorated, as you can see. But the custom designs have thwarted me once again, as they all got messed up. I don't know if I'm going to completely redo all of this or just change the custom designs. We'll see how I feel when I get to it. And then down here, we have the little mini water park area. And I feel like I want to scrap all of this. <laughs> and do something else and make sure we decorate this dock. We have the um, the gas station. And again, I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like it's, it's okay. And then on the left side over here, we have this empty spot, pretty big chunk. We have um, Bob's litter box and the extension of his yard. I do feel like I kind of want to redo his yard at some point. But then we have the little froggy soccer area. This area is perfect. I'm not going to change it. We're going to leave this completely alone. And then coming down over here, we have my strawberry patch, which I could never get right. And I think I'm going to scrap this. And I think I'm also going to scrap all of this up here. So we're going to get rid of all of that. And then these are the only empty parts of my beaches. These are the only empty beaches. I need to move Petrie's house. That's not supposed to be here. We have this rock and then we have all of this leading up to the froggy volleyball. What I had gotten done that you did not see was I literally just did these paths and then I placed this, um, these lights. That's literally all I did. And then my computer went to sleep because I wasn't recording. And that's when I realized I wasn't recording. <laughs> so if it wasn't for my computer going to sleep, I, I would have recorded this whole video without hitting record. That would have been so sad. Anyway, so I'm just putting some custom designs here and now I have to use the bathroom. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So this is like the little volleyball area and these lights are pretty much separating it. So now we have all of this. We can maybe put something on this rock. I don't know, but this can be just kind of like general, like, I don't know, just like little beach stuff. You know, it doesn't have to be anything. It doesn't have to be a whole build. I just kind of want to do like beach stuff. Let's just put a little custom design here. It's going to, yes, it's going to be a puddle. What else, what else would it be? <laughs> One of my favorite go-tos and something that I feel like is super easy for taking up space are picnics or is a picnic blanket. So let's go ahead and put one of those under the tree. I did make this picnic blanket myself. <laughs> so if you're interested in it, my creator code should be in the description and it doesn't fit. Nice. Okay, well, I guess we're not doing a picnic. That's okay. 
That's okay, we'll just figure something else out. I could use my little bread slice custom design. I feel like I barely ever use this, so this is a good little way to use it up. Oh, and I put everything down perfectly. Yes, we might have some soggy bread because it's soggy and, and sandy bread, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll put some leaves right here then. And I do want to keep everything like pretty accessible for me to run around because I'm going to be running around up here. I'm going to be running around, you know, through here. I'm going to be running around from down here. So I don't want to clutter this up too much with stuff, but let's do this little fish container and then we can put down this fishing rod i really do like this but i actually do want to save it for the docks i feel like this would be way cuter on the docks instead of a slice of bread i've been sitting here struggling with what to put on the bread i don't know what to put here in terms of items ah i think i'm just gonna move past it for now we can come back there's no shame in just coming back later okay i'm gonna put another coconut tree it may cover up this passageway i'll put some some of this here so you know that there's a little way to go hopefully that helps okay so let's see if we can fit our picnic blanket here instead okay you know what i'm, I'm tired of of just trying to place it with the with the app let's start up construction all right we got our little blankie going you can't really see the fringe on the sand which i may change that because what the heck okay fringe here and fringe over here now i'm actually going to change that really quick because <laughs> I want to be able to see it on the sand. Okay, there we go. Oh, that looks so much better. Yes, we do need that tree to grow in. And I am going to time travel um, to move Petrie's house. So we'll be time traveling a little bit, probably like ordering items and stuff. So this tree will grow in at some point. And I'm going to add some little bug friends because they're attracted to this picnic. And I, I don't have any food items. Okay, we got to go grab some food items. I just need to grab the little shed also so we don't have to be running around everywhere. Nintendo gave us the solution for running to our house storage 24-7 and I don't even use it. <laughs> What's like some beachy food items what do you bring in your cooler maybe like a like a sandwich like oh, a subway sandwich on the beach that sounds so incredible i wish i was at the beach right now eating a subway sub eating a meatball sub with cucumbers on the beach okay subway sandwich what else a fun little drink we'll get that we'll bring some coconut juice okay that should be good for now We'll place the little fun drink. It looks so good with like a slice of orange. Ugh, I bet it's so refreshing. We'll put the sandwich and we'll put the coconut juice kind of like on this end over here. Hello, Scoot. He's coming to check it out. I'm trying to leave this open so I can run through it like this. And then over here, again, I do want to keep it open because I'm going to be running around here a lot. And I do run around here a lot. So trying not to put too much stuff. We'll put a little life ring over here. Um, we could do some custom designs up here and kind of like call this area finish. Oh, we can do a we can do a juice box, a spilled juice box to add to the picnic feel. Everyone's spilling their juice boxes. Sorry, I, I can't get that balloon. I don't have a slingshot. Actually, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. I got this. I got this. <laughs> go 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 go. Imagine I don't have a slingshot. I actually think I don't. <gasps> I don't have one. Sorry, balloon. Off in the distance. Mm, so sad. We could do some spilled popcorn. People are spilling their juice on their popcorn. Everybody's just spilling everything. What's going on, guys? Here, I'll put I'll put some more planks leading over here so everyone will know that there's something over here. Okay, there we go. Let's put like a, some weeds up here. There we go. I love decorating the beach with weeds. I feel like it's just so cute, especially these ones. These ones are like my favorite weeds ever. <laughs> okay, so for this little skinny path right here, I'm gonna put some, of course, some planks. I don't know what looks better, these curved ones here or these. I think these actually look better. And then we'll go down this whole little pathway with these until we get out here. I'm gonna decorate this rock, but then I feel like we need to move Petrie's house. Oh, with her in it. Oh, I'm sorry, Petrie. Let's figure out what's going to go up here. I don't really know. I am feeling Karopi snack vibes. And you know what? This coconut juice in the back is giving me ideas for like a little tiny mini froggy tiki bar. Ah, ah. I don't know how much we could fit, but we could try. Tiki bar plan is a go. I don't know how to make the tiki bar. 
I think in the past, I actually have made one before on Pelican Bay before I started YouTube. I think I did have a tiki bar. I don't remember if it was ever in my videos, but I did have one and I remember that being such a big project for me. <laughs> and I do remember using a stall and I think I added some like little straw kind of custom design on it. So I don't know. I don't really have space for more custom designs. I don't want to waste a whole custom design just for this. So let's see what we can do. Let's let's see what we can do. You know what I just realized I don't have? I don't have Sable's, I think it's Sable's, Sable's patterns that she gives you. I think there's actually like a design there that I could use. I was just looking it up and they have like the little like doll pattern. Why are you not open? 9 a.m. What time is it? 8.53, I have to wait seven minutes. Ugh, okay. I literally don't have Sable's patterns. That's how much I don't talk to her or go into the Able Sisters. So am I really going to time travel all those days to get it? I, I think I might. I have like a mental list of stuff that I want to get now. <laughs> we do have the palm tree lamp, which would be really good. I need to, I think tiki torches are a craftable item. And then I also want some surfboards. I don't even know if I have those in my catalog. Ah, well that sucks. Okay, let's check out the tiki torches then. Tree branch and wood, easy, easy. I feel like these will really help the mood even if I don't have like a bunch of tiki stuff like custom designs, these will help. So let's make like two of these. Okay, it's almost nine. I'm gonna go sit and wait outside of Abel's till they're open. Open up, open up. Open the door or else I We'll dig from underneath the ground and come up through the basement. Open up the door. Yes. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Okay, no more digging. No more digging. Go, 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 go. You, give me your patterns. Give me. How many days do I have to do this? Because is it really worth it? I also wanted to make some of this bamboo fence, but I don't have any bamboo pieces. I have a lot of stuff to do. I should have planned this more. Oh no. I just want to make a mini tiki bar for Kuropi snacks. Okay. Why does this have to be so hard? Uh, okay. I'm going to grab... How many tickets is this? 10 tickets. Let me first move Petrie's house before I forget. All right, Petrie. You're going to get going. You're going to get shaking. Going to get moving. Okay, Petra's gonna go right here, ignore everything, it's a mess, but I, I will deal with it at a later date. Okay, now I'm gonna go and spend my tiki, so hopefully go find a bamboo island so I can get some bamboo so I can make the bamboo fencing. Please, please, Orville, just give me a bamboo one right off the bat. No! <laughs> please, I need bamboo. I'll take these coconut trees while I'm here. Or actually, I'll just take the coconuts. Too many trees in my inventory. We're going to be time traveling anyway. Okay, let's try this again. No, uh, please. I just want bamboo. I just want bamboo. I just want bamboo. <laughs> uh, why? Why? Ah, uh, <laughs> please. Please. Bamboo. I'm, I'm leaving immediately. I'm leaving immediately. Yes. 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 I'm <laughs> just sorry. Wait. I didn't bring an axe! I didn't bring an axe! <laughs> Wilbur, please! Oh my goodness. Okay, thank goodness I have some Nook Miles. I barely have any, but this should be good enough. What a journey. What a journey. Give me this bamboo. All of my years of suffering and waiting. Ah, oh, glorious. Glorious. I'm literally just like loading up on bamboo as much as this little flimsy axe will chop down so I don't ever have to do this again. All right, and goodbye. I can't believe I had to do all this just for a fence. Okay, now I'm going to dip and we're gonna time travel to tomorrow. I'm also looking up right now how long it takes to get the patterns from Sable. Oh, stitches, sprint on. Oh, he's doing zoomies. And it says you have to talk to her for 11 days. And then after that, you have to talk to her for an additional 10 days for 21 days total. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um, so I guess we'll just have to make do with something else. Because I think she has like a tiki pattern. That's why I wanted to get her patterns. But 
No. <laughs> no thanks, not 21 days. I kind of forgot that the whole point of this video was decorating the beaches. I'm getting so lost in the sauce right now. Okay, but at least we can finally make the fencing. And that with the tiki torches, maybe that'll be enough. This is all I wanted. This is all I wanted. I'm probably not even gonna use 10 pieces. Now we finally get to decorate. Oh, I forgot to customize the stall. Back I go. Maybe this works. <laughs> I mean... I mean... What if we just try it? What if we just try it? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm actually gonna steal this coconut juice. Okay, and then we put the fruits basket here. Uh-huh. And then we put another coconut juice. Yes. I think we get the vibes. We don't need any sort of pattern from Sable or online or anything. We got this. We got this. I'm gonna put this here. Then we'll put the tiki torch on top of that. Now let's get this fencing going. I better be able to squeeze it in after all of that work <laughs> to go and get it. I'm gonna use this stupid bamboo fencing as much as I possibly can. Ugh, I wanna put down a puddle right here, but it doesn't let me. Why are all these villagers always in the way? Excuse me. Ketchup. <laughs> I am in the middle of something. Excuse you. There we go. There's that. And the fencing. The fencing. The star of the show. The point of this whole build at this point. Cannot fit there. Okay. You know, that's that's fine. That's fine. What if we pick up this and instead we put some fencing right here? Ah, and then we put the tiki torch right here. Kind of like in the middle in between them. Not exactly the spot. Come on. Come on. Okay. It doesn't want to go in the in-between. That's okay. We'll just put it here, I guess. Why can't I put this anywhere? Why can't I put this here, please? I just want to use this stupid fencing. Okay, what about back here? <laughs> no. Why can't you go further on the edge? I don't like it. Guys, I think we got this bamboo fencing just for nothing. Unless we figure something out here. See, this is why the beaches are so difficult because they have these dumb rocks. I hate them. Okay, we put this here instead. Okay, let's see if the tiki torch fits over here somewhere out of the way. Oh, uh, yes, perfect. And then, do we have more space here for fencing? Yes, I am, I am doing this, okay? I am making it. So there is going to be plenty of this stupid fence everywhere because we worked hard. We worked hard and there's like no space. I am so sad. <laughs> okay. No, doesn't fit there. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. This is, I mean, this is the best. Does the palm tree lamp fit back here? Oh, it does. That's fine. I like that. If these ruined seats work, I might just use these. So let's see. Can you place a Kuropi snack on the ruined seat? This is this is the, the test. This is the test. Yes, you can. I need tables now, though. I do need tables. What will that be is the question. And it's a very good question. Let's check in my storage. We could do some lily pad tables. We could just say easy, easy, done, done. And... He is sipping on. I need more coconut juice. Hold on. He is sipping on some coconut juice. Mmm. Delicious. Okay, now let's put our other tiki torch. We have two. So let's put this bad boy at the end here. And then we can put our second little ropey snack who's sipping on a coconut juice over here somewhere. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Here comes the boy. Let's put his juice down for him. Here you go. Here's your coconut juice. You deserve it after a long, hard day of being a frog. Okay, let's see. Can we fit in some more fencing? Oh, we do it like this. Oh, it's like the private. It's like the private room. He's the elite VIP froggy, and he has a little private coconut juice sipping area. Yeah, honestly, fantastic. Honestly, truly fantastic. And I think some party lights would really complete this area. Let's, okay, where can we squeeze them in? I feel like we could right here in front of this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's a party. And then we can put the other tiki torch like over here, I guess. There you go. Turn it on, please. Turn it on. Thank you. Okay. A little mini froggy um, tiki bar. Is complete after so much work. Actually, do I have one more Kuropi snack? 
Let me grab one more. I need like a customer walking around, you know? There we go. <laughs> and we have one walking around. So yeah, that's that's done. Ah, <sighs> finally. And you know what? That was only two areas and I've been recording for an hour and 18 minutes. How long is this video gonna be? <laughs> okay, but hopefully this this the rest should go faster. I don't know. So we do have a decent amount of space here but we don't have a lot of space on the right to walk around so sometimes i like to run around on the beaches so i think what i'm gonna do here is we're just gonna kind of fill it with palm trees and maybe like custom designs and i don't know what kind of stuff but we'll figure it out we'll kind of like make a little canopy of palm trees i absolutely love doing this i feel like i do it all the time yeah because this whole area will be behind petrie's house anyway so i don't know there's not really a whole lot that we need to be going on here you know what i mean maybe we can put some hammocks underneath of the trees we could do something like that so i will order maybe like two of them oh and weeds we can't forget the weeds we will definitely be putting a lot of weeds okay so i usually find that i work best when i already have like the trees grown in and stuff like that just helps me a little bit so we will skip this for now, but we're going to come back to it once the trees are grown. We also have down here with the um, strawberry patch. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm going to be scrapping this. So even though my inventory is full, actually, let's put everything away. So I don't have that full inventory annoyance. I'm just going to spare you um, me picking everything up. And I will come back once everything is all picked up, I guess. Okay, done. Except for those flowers over there and that custom design over there. So, um, I have like kind of a vague idea in my mind of what I want to do. I don't really know how to explain it. I think I'm just going to start decorating. Um, let's go sell these flowers first because this is way too much of my inventory. Wow. Really making those fat stacks over here. All right. So we're back. Let's get to it. I have some stuff in my inventory that I do want to use. So mainly it's this big boat i really want to use this yacht actually it's not as big as i thought but that's okay wait that rhymed <gasps> i want to use this yacht but it's not as big as i thought so i actually have been really having this craving or like i don't know if you would call it a craving <laughs> this urge i guess to a rollerblade because i've always liked loved rollerblading um i actually used to do it all the time. I would go to roller skating rinks because my mom also used to roller skate and rollerblade. So she would always make it a point to like take us. We would always like either have birthday parties there or go to birthday parties there. And I just always knew how to rollerblade. Mostly rollerblade, not roller skate. Although I can roller skate, but I, w I don't know. I was, I was born on the blades, you know, not really. But I would also ice skate and also skiing. So like they're all kind of similar movements a little bit you know if you know one you kind of know the other i don't really know how true that is actually but that's what it felt like at least at the time so i always knew how to do it and i always had a blast and i was never like amazing at it you know i wasn't like the best of the best i couldn't jump i couldn't do any sort of tricks i could just keep my balance <laughs> which is i mean pretty good some people can't do that at all i could keep my balance and i could go pretty fast and i knew how to stop and all that kind of fun stuff so that was really the extent of my rollerblading career but i've just having i've just been having this like urge lately to rollerblade and i just can't stop thinking about it i don't know i've just been like every day like oh i want to buy rollerblades i want to buy rollerblades but i just never would because i'm like okay raven what if this is just something that you feel like doing but then you do it for like one time and then you just stop right so i just never did finally one day i just bit the bullet and i bought like super cheap rollerblades at Target and there were like those adjustable ones they have like a million straps and stuff I was looking at expensive ones online like from Impala like I was looking at regular roller skates too I was like maybe I'll just try roller skating instead but rollerblading is always what I like I said I, I did that like mostly in my childhood so I was like oh maybe I'll just stick with that so I didn't want to buy expensive rollerblades either because I was like okay what if I just again use them once and then never do it again so like I said I ended up buying some ones at Target and they were like cheap compared to the ones I was looking at online. But I was like, you know what? Fine, it's cheap. Like if I if I actually stick to it, 
then I can upgrade later down the line and buy expensive ones, nice ones. And if I back out of it after one try, then I only wasted a little bit of money instead of a lot of money. And I won't feel that pressure to keep doing it even though I don't want to because I just spent a lot of money. And, um, uh, spoiler, <laughs> I've only used them once so far. So my biggest fear, it came true. Because let me, let me explain, let me explain. I thought that I would put on these rollerblades and I would be just as good as I was like years and years and years ago. I can't remember the last time I, I rollerbladed, probably in high school. You know, I just thought I would put them on and we would be good to go. We would be just like, I would, I would be so cool, like on the sidewalk, like just super cool having balance. And that was actually, in fact, not the case. It seems like my body kind of forgot you know, how to like balance itself and how to use rollerblades. So I put them on and I am super wobbly, of course, because it's been years, you know, it's been a couple of years. So I just, I, I didn't have the muscle memory. And I also, in fact, <laughs> I'm very out of shape. So I feel like that didn't really help either. I just am unfit. Like I don't have any like core strength. I don't have any like balance. I don't know, my legs aren't very, like, strong. So yeah, um, it didn't really go well. And they were hurting my feet. And also, the big thing, actually, the big thing, the big thing, was that the sidewalk outside, like, I just went outside to do it. And the sidewalk is, like, super bumpy, which is, you know, pretty normal for a sidewalk, I would say. But it just made it really hard because there was all the cracks in the sidewalks and I was unbalanced and I just didn't know how to deal with that. So like every crack, I was like terrified that I would fall over. And also I did have like knee pads and stuff. So I was gonna be safe, but it was still scary. Like I don't wanna fall, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> I did it once and I also tried to go in the street, but the street was also like really bumpy and rattly and I was also scared of cars coming. I only did it for like 20 minutes, maybe. And now I don't know what to do. Maybe I should go to a roller rink instead and try to get my bearings back, you know, try to get a little more confident, get that confidence back. And then maybe after that, I would be a little bit better on the sidewalk. I feel like starting on the sidewalk is not like the best so yeah, that's my uh, my failure story of the, the rollerblading. If you guys rollerblade or roller skate or both, let me know what you prefer. Maybe I'll try roller skating because I never really have too much. Like I have a few times. Maybe that'll be a little bit better for my balance. Anyways, this is my little idea. Just kind of like a little, I don't know, a port. I don't know what the heck this is, but it's, it's this. So yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. Let's pick this back up. Maybe some leaf piles on the floor would be good. Let's put some leaf piles. We'll put one right here. And then I also grabbed some decorative bottles. I just feel like they fit here. So yeah, um, keeping it simple, pretty simple. Weeds, weeds would also be good in that one little spot right there. Right in this little spot, just a clump. Not this one though. Give me the good one. Give me the good ones. I will not rest. Yes, okay, there we go. So this is it. This is um simple, good. I will leave it at that. And then this area. Oh, I don't know what to do here, honestly. I feel like we could put those parasols back. Beach chairs with the parasols. Maybe instead of having them sideways like I did before, I could put them the other way. First, I need some palm trees, which I put all my coconuts away, so give me one sec. Like we put a palm tree right here. Then we can put the beach chairs, but this way, you know? I don't know where the other ones went. Did I have two or did I only have one? I can't remember. Or I mean, we don't have to have two. We could just have it like this and we could put the, I think this was here before. We'll put the lily pad table, put the coconut juice back. I think all of this stuff was literally here before. I'm just rearranging it. We'll just put the beach ball. We'll put some more weeds, I guess, just to kind of fill in the area. Oh, of course, I, I can't believe that I'm forgetting to put this on the beach. My little froggy chair, sand art. How could we forget? Let's put him here. And then we'll put some more beads. You know, like just kind of slightly filled in. We can put a spilled juice box right here. Again, just everyone's spilling their juice. Okay, and then once the tree is grown in, I feel like 
That'll make it look a lot more filled in. If we wanted to, if we wanted to, I could put a palm tree right here. And I actually, I think I will. And since that'll kind of cover this froggy chair sand, let's put him back over here. Because he needs his time to shine. This is, this is the core of the island. This is what my island stands on. I mean, I guess it would be sit on because it's a froggy chair. <laughs> <laughs> the froggy soccer is perfectly good except for some of these weeds are kind of getting out of hand so let me pick that up and then we have bob's house i don't know how i feel about bob he sent me poop in the mail i think what i'm gonna do for bob's house is i will pick everything up but i do want to redo his whole exterior you know so i may just leave this for whenever i decide to do that build this poor froggy chair is being suffocated <laughs> i'm so sorry we'll relieve him of his pain you know actually i kind of have an idea for what i want to do for bob i'm not going to decorate all of this up here because i'll be here for an extra hour doing that but i think i want to make him the pe teacher of my leapfrog school that Henry has in his house or on outside of his house. So it's funny because Bob is a lazy and it's just, it's it's funny. Okay, so he's gonna have all of the sports. You know, there's no room near the school. The school is up on a cliff. I don't know who designed that, but that's a terrible design choice. So all of the PE will take place on the beach. You know, since we're on an island, it's also fitting. So we already have the soccer field. I'll actually I know I said I wasn't gonna touch it, but I will just push it over just by one so it has a little extra room there we go you know just barely barely any changes and then we'll do like I think I have some basketball stuff and I have another volleyball in it I don't know if I have another volleyball and we can do just like sports stuff so yeah and then I will redecorate his yard area at a later point I don't know how I'm gonna make that sports themed or like PE teacher themed but I'll find a way sports where are the sports? Okay, so we should definitely put a lifeguard chair because there could be swimming in the ocean, you know, the swim team. And then I don't know why I have so many basketball hoops, but okay. And then we can have the, whatever this is, I guess, boxing stuff. Okay, I'm excited. Oh no, I need fencing, hold on. <laughs> Put a pin in that, put a pin in that. Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> now I'm excited. I couldn't decide what fencing I wanted, so I pulled out yellow park fencing, red park fencing, and the blue iron fencing, and it just so happens that his house is all three of those colors, and I was gonna match the fencing to his house, so now I don't know what to do. I might just go with the red. I do have the most of the red, but I don't wanna do as much fencing as I did before, because I feel like before it was too much. Okay, so I'm gonna put the basketball hoops first. I'm gonna put one over here. I'll place the other one over here somewhere. I don't know how basketball works, but it looks like they're gonna have fun. Now we have our little students. They're probably doing like uh one-on-one -on -one dribbling. That's a thing right okay so yeah he, um no double dribbling guys uh keep it clean i don't know what do they say in basketball just like the soccer area i'm not really gonna make it too complicated all we have are some very sparse custom designs and some like grass stuff because i guess bob doesn't really take care of the sand or maybe he fertilizes it a little too much if you know what I mean. So we have a bunch of sprouts and little buds and stuff like that. Okay, so this big open space is making me stressed out. So actually, I took out a bunch of cones and I'm gonna put those just kind of like in a little line. Cause I don't know, I feel like this is something that you would do in PE. I feel like they would set up cones and make us like run around them or something like that. I don't know. It's just something PE related with cones. I'm sure it exists. So there we go. There's, there's the cones. Oh, hi, Tangy. And I kind of want to move this palm tree over here. I don't know if that's going to be too in the way. Okay, how's this? How's this? I'm going to put another palm tree here. Okay, let's get some custom designs going. going to put some little steppies. And then maybe we have like the little area where you have like your water bottles and stuff. But oh, look at that. Someone spilled it. Someone spilled it. Let's get rid of all these flowers. We're doing pretty good, you guys. We're doing pretty good. Okay, now we can do the volleyball net. And then also we can have the lifeguard chair. We can put that down. I totally forgot about it, to be honest. We could, we could just put it right here. All the sports, all the sports, all the sports. We'll do a life ring right next to it, cause that just makes sense. 
Oh, and we can't forget about our little froggy chair sand art. Our little froggy chair snart, if you will. All my villagers up in my business today. Hi, Tangy. Okay, and I also did want to incorporate the little punching bag. So let's just put this next to the tree, I guess. Oh my goodness, look at Tangy. Enjoying the sports area. Okay, so I kind of want something tall to go here that doesn't take up too much space. So let's go see what we have in the storage. Okay, I don't really know what to put, so... <laughs> I'm gonna put another lifeguard chair. So the last thing is I have the ball for this volleyball thingy, but it's a soccer ball right now. So I have to go get that changed. So let's go do that. Also, I'm gonna pick up this stuff that doesn't belong here. And then we're done with that section. Hi, Cyrus. Please give me one singular volleyball. Thank you so much. Okay, now we go back home. Actually, I'm just gonna time travel from here. Save some loading screens. Okay, we're back. And I've got the volleyball. Let's see, what spot does it fit in? There we go. Okay. That is this section complete. It's not too much, but it's something. And something is better than nothing. So yeah, there's that all done. Okay. And I've been recording for two hours and 15 minutes. Wow. I think because this is taking me so long, um, I am going to leave this alone. I was going to replace these cars, race car beds, with the actual cars, but I think somebody left me a comment saying that the race car beds were actually more kid core in their opinion, and I do have to agree after I thought about it and after I had, if, after I had that actual car there for a while next to these guys, I like the race car beds better. So, let's grab, I think I still have that one, hopefully, the red one race car bed. Okay, here we go. Let's place this bad boy down. So yeah, I'm just gonna pretty much leave this how it is. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I've already tweaked this also, but I don't like it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do more fixing. <laughs> so what I think I want to do for this instead is make it a parking lot. So let me put these custom designs down. I already have one little parking space and I love this parking space so much. I want to put some more race car beds so let's order some more. I have one more in my storage that I just saw so I need three more. Nice nice no 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 yeah definitely just just mow the lawn over here. Yay I love this. Excuse me sir. Excuse sir. What is this? I should push you into the river. I really should. Okay, but honestly, this is pretty good. Honest, I just, I might leave the water park like it is, but I definitely want to change the dock. I'm just fixing up this. There was like a custom design that was all messed up and I got to put a puddle underneath of this. Okay, it's not technically centered, but that's fine. Let's put some froggy chair snart over here. And let's fix up this dock. We're gonna have... We're gonna do this little fish container. Actually, I kind of want it to be more in the middle, so let me pick it back up. And then right here, we're gonna do this little fishing rod. It's like we're fishing. Does it give me just barely enough room to come and talk to him? Yes. And actually, <laughs> you already know what I'm gonna put under this. You already know. It's a puddle. Who is surprised? I might put a little extra life ring right here and yeah call it a day okay we're good i don't like whatever this is that's going on here so i'm gonna pick all of this up and you know what would be so cute on these sides actually some of those like bamboo partitions okay bamboo pieces and stone let's do it okay let's make two of these bad boys i have plenty of bamboo thankfully from our expedition okay one goes on this side nice nice and we have a little gyroid fragment. Let me pick this bad boy up. And then we have the other one who is going to go right here. Let me pull this over because they're uneven. They're uneven. Okay, yeah, I think that's cute. That's cute, that's cute. What would be perfect right here or right here, I guess, is another palm tree, coconut tree, I guess. We'll put it right there. There we go, just to take up some extra space. Nice, 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 nice. So yeah, I do want to keep this kind of clear because I'm going to be running, you know, on the dock. So I don't want it to be too, too ridiculously cluttered. So now we have all of this, which is mostly okay. It's, it's mostly good. Um, it just needs a little bit of help. I used to have a cute little like white plank 
thingy that I had on the beach, but I did get rid of it and now I have all of these rainbow stuff. So we could do like some rainbow action. Okay, this is my progress so far. Um, yeah, it's looking better. It's definitely looking better. There we go. Okay, so that's, you know, I think that definitely looks a lot better than whatever's going on here. Having like the little rainbow in order definitely looks very cute. And I'm just going to pick up some of the stuff that I don't like how it looks. Kick off this custom design. I'm trying not to have it like too overloaded with custom designs and stuff. Let's work on this next. Now we just got to fix this little, the little rainbow. I do like the amount of rainbows on my island. I feel like it's a very good amount. And I also want to save my dream address on a day that has a rainbow. I feel like that would be super cute. So that's definitely a goal of mine that I have. I don't know why I keep opening my inventory when I know I have to go to custom designs. But this is good. I, I have felt really good about this, you guys. Even though I'm probably going to be recording for three hours today, which is <laughs> so long for me. I usually record like a build or a let's play. I usually record for like an hour, an hour and a half max. So this is like a lot. But it's good. It's good. We're getting like a lot of real progress done today on Leapfrog. Because guys, I have been working on this island for over a year. Over a year. Or I think maybe around a year. No, I think it's ex I think it's over a year now. Yeah, needless to say, I feel like I need to get my booty in gear. Ay, there's so much to do, really. All right, let's put this stuff back. Let's put the garland back. Put this beach chair back. Cute. I would definitely lay here 10 out of 10. Actually, let's push it over. And do we have another little table here? Let's get out the shed. Let's do the orange end table. Nice and tropical, you know? Okay, and then I grabbed like a little fun drink. I grabbed this melon soda. So there we go. There is that. Let's fix up this one. And then I think we're good with this area. So I'm liking it. I'm liking it for the most part. Let's shake off this custom design. I Sometimes I feel like I overload it with custom designs. Also, what is this? Well, that's really all the uh, changes I had to make. I just had to change the middle custom design. Let's take out the Kropi tray again. I can put this pudding here. Let's do some pudding. This this person, whoever is laying here, is having like a little snack. I like it. You know, it's it's lots of space to run through. I don't like when it's cluttered and I have to like zigzag around stuff. So there we go. It's nice and colorful. It takes off lots of space. It has some stuff to look at. This is good. This is good. And now we have the last two final areas. One of which is this. This just tiny little chunk. So let's go ahead and clean this up. I've got a lot of flowers to pick up. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm going to have to definitely, yeah, definitely have to empty this inventory really quick. Okay, done. There we go. So let's finish this bad boy up. Let's see. Let's, let's I think we're just going to make this another like general kind of like beach area with like palm trees, sandcastles, uh, little chairs, stuff like that. Let's go ahead and start planting some palm trees. We have four more coconuts. I think we can sneak another one in over here. I'm going to put a hammock. Let's put a little life ring in the ocean. A sand castle over here being built. It looks very, very nice. Props to whoever made this. Let's put a little colorful shovel right next to it. You know, because you got to use a shovel to make the sand castle. Oh, and do we have a bucket? A bucket would also be perfect. Okay, here we go. Nice. I'm going to do another life ring over here. going to do some lights just to kind of like, I don't know. Mark out the little entrance area. Okay, now I'm going to do some custom designs. You know me. We got to get that going. So I'm going to put this little puddle. And I'm going to do this little ducky on top. I think that's so cute. Little baby ducky. I'm also going to do a cooler uh, here. Okay, and then lastly, I'm going to go in with some weeds. And just kind of like fill in all of these little areas. Okay, so this is what I got. Once the palm trees are grown in, of course, it's going to look a lot more filled in. So we got to time travel for those. And we have one last area. Wait, let me pick up my storage shed. So last, very lastly, we have this area. Um, like I said earlier, I did get a comment um, inspiring this, basically giving me this idea. So thank you so much. They said, suggestion, maybe add a small shop. Um, next to the station as many stations have cafes or stores so that's gonna be kind of like the vibe for this a little 
um, you know, train station cafe, little train station store. We're just gonna use up what we have in storage. Whatever I got, I'm I'm done time traveling to get items and stuff like that. Whatever we got, we're gonna make use of. I'm gonna pick all of this up first, of course, and then we will get to the decorating. Oh, you guys, I'm so tired. It's already 4 p.m. I've been recording for so long, but this is gonna be it, and then we're gonna wrap up. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cover this with some custom designs. I think I'm gonna do my little gray tiles just to kind of match the train station that's to the left because the train station uses these too. Okay, there we go. This is what we got. The rocks are a very awkward space to decorate. So just that's how it is. So of course I'm gonna do some snack machines and drink machines and try to make them face the correct way. Because I feel like at a train station, there would be plenty of vending machines and stuff like that. So we're going to do some of these. And we do the little drink machine right next to it. I wish they would touch. And I'm also going to do a candy machine. Because that also seems fitting. And then I kind of wanted to do like a little clothes store. Like, I feel like there would be clothes. I don't know. Like a little gift shop, you know? <laughs> so I'm going to put this. I feel like this is cute. <laughs> And then, let's see, what other clothes stuff that I bring? I got these little shopping baskets, so this can be, you know, of course, this is pretty self-explanatory. And then I like this little clothing rack, but I think I want to make it a different color. So we have to customize that, but I'm also going to add some fencing back here, because I, I had some fencing before, but I took it off. So let's just add this back. going to make it red. I don't know why I kind of picked red as like a color for this. We're just going with it. Okay, right over there. And then we will add some fencing back over here too. Then I think I'm going to add this little rolling cart. Because it's a little shopping center, you know? There's there's somebody pushing boxes, pushing inventory. And then I'm going to add a bench over here for people to sit also while they're waiting and stuff like that. And then as part of the shopping little area, like maybe the clothes shop, I'm going to add this. Actually, I want to see if I can customize that too, because it's got that wood finish. Let's see. Let's see what we can do about this customization. Okay, I am back, and I have some customized stuff. The clothing rack actually customizes to be a colorful variation, which is perfect. Fits perfectly, so there's that. And we could put something up top here, so I'm going to have to grab something that will fit. And let's do the display case. Put that right here. The only like colorful one was pink, so that's what we're going with. <laughs> okay, let's grab an item to go on top of that thingy. I don't know what we could put. Let's see. Oh, let's put let's put a little beret as like a homage to the beret. Cute. Okay. Well, honestly, I am getting pretty tired, so I'm gonna be done with this. I could add some more custom designs and stuff, but you know what? You know what? <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> okay. I'm finally done. After like four hours ish. Yeah, this was a lot. Here's the first part of our beach. We have, well, we didn't do this today, but it was already here. We have the, the froggy volleyball. And then as we walk down, we just have Jeremiah and also some bread. And we have a little picnic area and the little message in a bottle. I will pick that up. And over here, we have our little tiki area. I actually really, really, really love how this came out. It's super cute, so it kind of makes up for these areas being kind of like sparse with decorations. So we have our little froggy tiki bar. So cute. And then down here, we have our little canopy of coconut trees. And not really much going on right here. Um, I, you know what? I, I really didn't decorate this. So maybe my title is a little misleading. I didn't decorate all my beach, but you know what? I'm probably not going to put anything back here, most likely. So it's fine. And then over here, we have just like a little cutesy, simply decorated beach area, another palm tree. We have this little like port pier area. I don't really know what it is, but it's that. And then down here, we have Bob's PE yard area. We have the soccer area back there. We have a basketball going on over here. We have, you know, the swimming. We've got the cones. We've got the boxing. Oh, no, that's... Oh, my goodness. We've got the volleyball and we have more swimming uh, lifeguard stuff. Yep. Okay. So down here, we have our little gas station. And I did decide to leave this parking spot open just so we had more room to walk around. And we have this. I didn't touch any of this today except for this car bed. 
And if we go over here across this bridge, we've got the water park area that I also did not really mess with except for over here. We have the pier, the dock, which is just very simple. And then we have here another cutesy like little lounge resorty area i don't know whatever you want to call it it's very nice and also very colorful so it's it's very nice and pleasing to my eyes and then up here we have another little section and i just now realized that this palm tree did not grow so that that really i did not plan for that <laughs> that's okay i'll fix that but pretend there's a palm tree up there and we just have like a simple little decorated area and then up here, we've got our little plant shop area. This was done in a previous video. Um, we got that. And then we have our little shopping area, little tourist thing next to the train station so that all of the train station uh, riders, all the train riders can come over here and shop. So yeah, that is it. Now I have to go edit this behemoth of a video so i would really appreciate a like on this video because i have put a lot of work and time into it thank you so much for watching i super duper appreciate it and i will see you in the next one